Hi, and welcome to Navigate's Tuesday Tip. Today will just be one of those days that I want to give you food for thought about the forms and the documents that you should change due to hot. Now, I know you started me talking about hot woman, Sticky, but hotma is real and it is here. So there's some things that I want you to give some thought to. Um, you already know that you have to have the tenant selection plan and the EIV policies ready and updated by May the 31st, 2024. Don't forget that deadline. May the 31st, 2024. We don't know how we're supposed to check them, but any MRs we go on after the 31st, we will be looking. You may want to adopt or revise your streamlining letter if you decide that you're going to use the streamlining method and what documentation you must have. You may want to adjust your student questionnaire to align with the new HOTMA changes. Now that's a biggie because there are a lot of changes with the student that you will need to adjust and a lot of requirements that the students are to have. So update your student verification forms. Create and update your termination of tenancy. The notice we send for termination, based on the new assets and what have you with HOTMA, that notice will need some critiquing. Create and update your termination of assistance also. You know, you can terminate your assistance without terminating the tenancy, and they need to know why their termination of assistance is being done. Make sure that it's in line with the new HOTMA rules. Determine how many days will fulfill the requirement for changes. When do you want them to report to you that they've had a change in income or a change in household composition? All of that is a lot to think about. Yes, there's a lot to think about and a lot for you to do. We just wanted to give you a little food for thought. This is just the tip of the iceberg and thank you for tuning in for another Tuesday tip.